Greetings, pokey people. Ichigo here, and what we're going to be doing is very simple. We are going to be soloing Pokemon Red with its very famous fire Pokemon starter. That means we're going to pick Charmander, we're going to use Charmander, and nothing else will be allowed to battle. So let's get started. I pick Charmander. Yes, I want that. Do you want to give a nickname to Charmander? Sure, why not? Very original name, I have to say. I am proud of myself. Rival goes over. He picks Squirtle. Because, of course he does, because he thinks that's actually going to help. And then we get straight into the first rival battle of the series. Why does this go so slowly? There's really not much to see here. I use Scratch. He uses Tail Whip. I use Growl. I can assure you this is the only battle where we will actually be using Growl. I kind of wish that my emulator had a speed up function. If anybody knows of an emulator that works on Mac because I'm using that for some reason, that has a speed up function that would be greatly appreciated because I only know of one that works at all on this platform. Why is this going so slow though? Now, I blame Gary for this battle taking as long as it is. Because if he would just not use Tail Whip, I wouldn't have to use so many Growls and we'd be done already. Alright, so he goes. And I win. Yay. I go straight to level 6. Perfect. Alright, so... After this, I go and do a bunch of grinding off screen because the first gym battle is going to be against a bunch of rock types. And I'm actually going to go ahead and show you the battle where we finally evolve. Twenty-three experience, grew to level sixteen. Zangetsu is evolving. And now we have Charmeleon. And now we can go face off against Brock. I probably should have cut off cut this sequence out. Oh well, too late for that now. We hope to see you again. Wait, you want my Pokemon to get hurt? Is that what I am hearing, Nurse Joy? What is wrong with you? Here we go. Do you still want to challenge me? Yes, yes I do. That's why I came here. Rock sent out Geodude. Go, Zangetsu. Ember. By the way, in case you're wondering, I did fight the trainer battle before Brock. That's why I am not at full health. 
but the fact I am not at full health will not matter. So you can see that even at level 16 with a Charmeleon, Geodude does not go down easily. That is why I did so much grinding and evolved. Onyx also does not go down easily, but he's also terrible offensively. So I can ember away and burn him until he faints. Or does he? I mean, it's weird that that one Raticate is the only Pokemon that did more than just faint. We'll talk about that later. And Ichigo received the Boulder Badge. That is one gym down. And Flash can be used outside of battle anytime. Even though there is only one location that it is actually useful outside of battle. It's so weird that they did that. And with that out of the way, let's go on to Mount Moon. I don't know why I left all this stuff in. Guys, this is the first one of these videos I've ever done, so I probably made a lot of really odd editing choices. That's fine. I wonder if I could have recorded the in-game audio. That would make this sequence a lot more interesting. I missed that. Probably should have taken that out. I better take a rest. Groan. Did he actually say the word groan? Now, oh, Pokemon Center to heal from all the battles that I chose not to keep in this video. Yo, we will need your Pokemon. Your Pokemon are fighting fit. We hope to see you again. What is with Nurse Joy wanting our Pokemon to be hurt? That seems like the opposite of what a nurse would want. I tripped over a rocky Pokemon, Geodude. So now we go into Mount Moon, where nothing of interest happened. I said, nothing of interest, nothing of interest happened, well, except for that. But I very quickly went back and got my revenge. Ichigo defeated the rocket. I blew it, yes you did. And now we go on to Cerulean City, because nothing else happened. <laughs> Yes, Nurse Joy, we've heard all of this before. You do not need to keep saying it. Thank you, your Pokemon are fighting fit. I hope they get injured so that you can come back and see me again. Let's go fight Rival 2. They're still struggling along back here? I'm doing great. I got a bunch of strong and smart Pokemon, and one of them is a rat.
Seriously, they go, if this guy is supposed to be so much stronger than us, how did he not take care of all those rockets back in Mount Moon? Kyoto, we will ember to death. Any Kyoto used gust, that's fine, that does nothing. Ember again. Ah. Scratch. And he uses quick attack. And he goes down. Now he sends out Abra. Why is he sending out Abra? Abra cannot attack. Abra literally only knows teleport at this point. Ratata used quick attack. That's fine. That does nothing. We will mega punch it in the face. And he sends out his Squirtle again. Squirtle actually has decent defense. But thankfully this battle is much quicker than the first one. What a gun. That what 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 did that what was the point of that? Give up, Squirtle! You did not defeat me before, you will not defeat me this time. Do not know why I am talking like this. Squirtle fainted, yay! That was a totally unpredictable outcome. No one would have guessed. Also, why is his Squirtle level 18? It should have evolved like two levels ago. What is this guy doing? Guess what? I went to Bill's house and got him to show me his rare Pokemon. That added a lot of pages to my Pokedex. Yeah, literally, if you check his PC while you're in there, you get the Eevee evolutions, and that's it. That's all he has. Speaking of Bill's house, we found the TM for Seismic Toss, which will replace Growl. A move that we literally only used in one battle. Also while I was Zangetsu learned seismic toss. Alright now let's go on to Bill's house. And we got the SSN ticket. No, I did not come to see your collection. I came to get the SSN ticket. SS ticket. Same thing. Why don't you go instead of me? That's a brilliant idea. I'll do that right now. Well, let's go and fight rival number three. Imagine seeing you here. Were you really invited? No, I wasn't. I just borrowed a ticket from someone else. Gary sent out Pidgeotto. Let's go, Zangetsu. Slash. That took it out in one hit. I don't know if that critical hit mattered or not. Gary sent out Eradicate. Zangetsu used Slash. And once more, it takes it out in one hit, and it's a critical hit. Kadabra. Okay, this makes more sense than sending out the Abra, because Kadabra can actually attack. Assuming it doesn't get taken out in one hit. Grew to level 34. Wonderful. Sent out War Tortle. Finally, he bothered to evolve it. And it survived a critical hit slash on 1 HP. 
but it will not survive a seismic toss. Boom. Ichigo defeated Gary. At least you're raising your Pokemon. Yes, I am. And I am evolving it at the appropriate levels. Yeah, sometimes I get distracted while I'm playing this game, so... Some of these screens last a little bit longer than they should. Probably should have watched this and did some more editing before I went to the voiceover work. Oh well. Next time. Now we do this that weird thing with the captain and get the cut HM. Because as we all know, the first thing we do when we see someone vomiting into a trash can is go and rub their back. We don't ask any questions, we don't look around to see if there's something contagious we can catch, we just go and rub their back. Okay, Misty. Because we cannot get any further in the game until we get her badge, so that we can actually use Cut. Staryu. Staryu's not really going to be a problem at all. Mega Punch It. Mega Punch It in the face. Does Staryu even have a face? I don't know, but we're going to Mega Punch It there anyway. It'll do the same thing to Starmie. Oh, Starmie survived. Bubble Beam. That did more than feels good, but we'll Slash. And that takes it out. Ichigo defeated Misty. Of course I did. Because I've chose the strongest starter in the game. The strongest starter of all time. You can cut down small bushes to open new paths. TM11 is your favorite TM? Why? Like, surely there are better TMs. Whatever, let's go fight Lieutenant Surge now. I, I really hate this puzzle. It's not that the puzzle is particularly hard. It's just weird. Like, why this puzzle? What does this have to do with anything else happening in your gym? Why? It, like, it kind of makes sense in Fire Red and Leaf Green, where instead of a mechanical door, it's the, the plasma beams or whatever it is, but still, even then, it's just a bunch of trash cans. Yeah, yeah, we don't need to hear all this, Lieutenant Surge. We just need to defeat your Pokemon. Without Voltorb. So he's, he sent out the living Pokeball from its Pokeball. To get slashed into submission. Sent out Pikachu. Pikachu is like... The only thing that could possibly outspeed, and it, we're so over leveled right now that it doesn't matter. Slash. We literally O code all of Lieutenant Surge's Pokemon. He gave us this big speech about how the electric Pokemon saved him during the war, and then they all went down to one attack. Cranks up your Pokemon's speed and lets you fly anywhere. That's not true. It only lets you fly to places you've already been. Quit lying, Lieutenant Surge. Have some integrity. And nothing happened at all in Rock Tunnel, 
So let's just go on to Lavender Town. Do, 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 do. Would you like us to heal your Pokemon back to perfect health? Why, yes, yes, I would. That's the entire reason I came in here. Your Pokemon are fighting fit. I hope they get hurt again so you'll come back. Eh, don't worry, this time I actually will come back. But in the meantime, let's go over... It's 16 hours. What is it, Celadon? I think it's Celadon, I don't remember. Dun, 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 dun. Why do all these Nurse Joys want us to come back here? If we come back here, that means our Pokemon have gotten hurt. Let's go fight Erica. <laughs> this gym is great. It's full of women. Yes, I agree. It is great for that reason. Well, I defeated all of the gym trainers. Now let's go ahead and defeat Erica. I teach the art of flower arranging. My Pokemon are of the grass type. I had no idea you wished to challenge... How many people come into a Pokemon gym not wanting to fight the leader? Also, am I the only one who likes Erica's Gen 3 sprite better than her Gen 1 sprite? I don't know. Anyway, this is probably the easiest gym in the entire game, because I just have... Not only am I so overleveled for it, but I have type advantage over all of the Pokemon. Like, they all die in one or two hits. Pangala, we'll use Ember, because what else would we use? And it goes down. Bye, Tangela. Vile Plume. We will use Ember again. And it doesn't go down. Enemy Vile Plume, you still. Oh, come on. Turn one, we don't wake up. He uses Mega Drain. But that does nothing. Sleep again. Yay. Sleep is so boring. Use Petal Dance, which does nothing. Come on, wake up. Any vile plumes thrashing about. Okay, yeah, you're locked into a move that does nothing and will confuse you when you're done being locked into it. Woke up, finally. And it doesn't even get a chance to be confused from being locked into Petal Dance because it dies to Ember. Enemy Vile Plume fainted, yada yada yada. Oh, I can see defeat. You are remarkably strong. Well, yes, that's true, but also I used a fire type in your grass type gym. It lets you use strength in and out of battle. Well, you can use strength in battle anyway, because that's how it works. So let's go and do the rocket game corner. Rocket wants. Why are the rockets holding whips? This battle is not that interesting. We just mega punch everything in the face. And up Zubat! Mega punch. Missed. 
Bite does nothing. We use Mega Punch again. And Zubat goes down. Shocking. Dang. I might be discovered. I better tell Boss. And then he shows us right where the hideout is. He's really good at his job. Nothing interesting happened in here, so let's just skip straight to the Giovanni fight. I'm impressed you got... Well, your underlings kind of led me right to you. Sent out Onyx. Level 25. Uh, no. Yeah, this is... This is not going to go well for Giovanni. Slash. Boom. Critical hit. Yeah, Slash is going to get a lot of critical hits in this game. Now, Seismic Toss is nice because it does a set amount of damage. Like, Giovanni's Rock Pokemon, they resist our other moves, and, but Seismic Toss will always do damage equal to the user's level, so that's nice. It makes them a lot easier to deal with. And that's Kangaskhan. A Kangaskhan, we're going to go for Flamethrower. And it's a one-hit KO. I don't know if that critical hit mattered or not. Yeah, since we're doing this run with only Charizard battling, we're going to be over-leveled for most of the game. Or well, really all of it. But the thing is, once we get to the Elite Four, that is not really going to mean a whole lot. You'll see what I mean when we get there. But for now, let's do rival number four. What brings you here? Your Pokemon don't look dead. I can at least make them faint. Yeah, you'll notice that he doesn't have that Raticate anymore. Like, we, he had a Rattata when he fought us in Cerulean City. He had a Raticate on the SSN, but he doesn't have it here. And there's a fan theory going around that we killed that Raticate on the SSN, which doesn't really make a whole lot of sense because we used the same moves on it that we used on everything else, and everything else is fine. I guess that just means that Raticate is like really weak. Like more physically frail than Kadabra even. There's really nothing worth talking about in this battle. Kadabra slash. And it goes down. Critical hit. That probably didn't matter at all. War Total Mega Punch And it goes down. I think that's the only time War Total is ever an Oko. And we go on, we got the Pokey Flute. That's nice. Now we go to rival number five. I don't know why I opened up the menu there. What kept you, Ichigo? I don't know, maybe all those rocket grunts that you did nothing about? I thought you'd turn up if I waited here. I guess Team Rocket slowed you down. Yeah. Speaking of, why didn't they slow you down? Why haven't you cleared them out since you've been here waiting for me, Gary? Gary wants to fight. Of course he does. He thinks he's going to win this time. Yep, 
Yeah, I thought about going for Slash, but then I went for the Flamethrower. Because I really don't want to get hit with Sand Attack. That would just be annoying. So I went for the same type move. Sends out Growlithe as Slash. Critical hit, not that it really matters much. Execute. Execute dies to flamethrower. Poached execute. Alakazam. Slash. Yeah, Alakazam is just as frail as Kadabra, and it's just going to die to basically any physical move. Blastoise. Blastoise do be a beefy boy. Wow, that did half damage, and then it went for withdraw. That Okay, well, I mean, Withdraw did raise its physical defense, but Bubble Beam does nothing. So we use Slash. And the critical hit didn't matter, but we get a lot of those. Grew to level 56. Just in time to defeat Boss Rocket. Speaking of which, he's literally the next thing we do in any playthrough of this game. Yeah. yeah, just quit lying, Gary. The Pokédex does not tell you how Pokémon evolve. They give you useless lore information that does not help you at all in the game. Giovanni wants to fight. Nito Reno. He's not leading off with Onyx this time. Okay. Well, we'll just flamethrower that. Also, quick side note. I occasionally battle as though I'm in later generations. So I went for flamethrower over Mega Punch because I was afraid of Poison Point. Even though that does not exist in this generation. Because I make good decisions. Rhyhorn. Yeah, let's go for flamethrower. And it okos, even though it's not very effective. It was effective enough, but not very. Flamethrower again. Again, I'm afraid of poison point that doesn't exist. And it survives. But then goes for tail whip. And then another flamethrower, because again, afraid of poison point that does not exist. And Neo Queen fainted. And again, I should have cut out the extra time that I was doing other stuff. Besides paying attention. Team Rocket will never fall. That will turn out to be prophetic. All right, so I decided to go ahead and take out the fighting dojo next. Wha? What? What is that? Why? Why? Is that like a karate sound? I really don't know. Hitmonlee, flamethrower. Hitmonlee has like paper thin defenses. And Hitmonchan is not much better. I mean, it also helps that I'm like 20 levels higher than him. Beaten. Indeed, I have lost, but I beseech you, do not take our emblem as your trophy. In return, I will give you a prized fighting Pokemon. Choose whichever one. I choose neither. I choose to go fight Sabrina. Now, Sabrina, I actually was worried about a little bit. Because even though Charizard has solid special, 
her attacks can cause confusion. And you saw what that can do. Also, why is she holding a whip? If she can talk to her Pokemon telepathically, why does she need a whip? So, yeah. Slash, critical hit, Kadabra went down. Mr. Mime only has one attack and it doesn't use it very much for some reason but it went down in one hit anyway because we are at such a higher level and we have and we are fast and Venomoth is not a psychic type Sabrina what are you doing now yeah, we're gonna flamethrower this And it's a critical hit again. Why are we getting so many critical hits? I, uh, I guess because in Gen 1 it's determined by speed, I think. Something like that. Or speed is a factor. Anyway, slash. And the Alakazam went down. Okay. So the one gym I was worried about, I guess I was over-prepared for. That's nice. I still don't know why Sabrina is holding a whip. And what, why does a psychic need a whip? And yeah, I was watching something on YouTube at the same time I was playing this, so... And I cut most of these things out. I guess I missed this one. Makes Pokemon up to level 70 obey. Yeah, it, uh... <laughs> we're already over that. Now we go on to Koga, who is laughing really bizarrely for some reason. Koga wants to fight. What is that stance? That is weird. Oh wait, I guess we're not over level 70. I thought we were. Oh, we're at 61. Close enough. Yeah, not really. Anyway, coughing went down in one hit. Koga sent out Muck. Yeah, I really need to do a better job of editing these videos in the future. But I'm not going to go back and do it now because I already spent two days on it at this point. It took me two real-time days to play this game and record all the footage and another two days to edit it to this point. Wheezing. We're going to use Flamethrower and Wheezing is going to die to it. Enemy Wheezing fainted, yeah, yeah, yeah. defeated Koga. You have proven... Here, take the soul badge. Yeah, anyway. Another one that I missed. Wow. Like, did I just think that he was giving a really long speech here? Like, what was I doing? The defense of your Pokemon increases. Also lets you surf outside of battle. And he gives you the TM for Toxic, which we're not going to use. I really need to get in, be able to speed up my, this emulator. It's 
takes so some of these things just take so long. But anyway, after Kogov, I went and did the Safari Zone. Which, you know, the Safari Zone is a Safari Zone. If I didn't catch anything, I got a bunch of items I'm probably not going to use. And then I made it to the Secret House and got the Surf HM. Which lets me go and fight Blaine. Which Blaine I wasn't worried about. Because Charizard has solid special and really good physical attack. Well, maybe not really good, but good enough. It's a solid Pokemon. And it deserves... And honestly, as highly rated as Charizard is, it deserves to be even higher... The rated. Yeah, because we see Growlithe went out in one hit. And then Ponyta. Mega Punch it in the face. And it goes down in one hit. Then Rapidash. Mega Punch it. And it missed. Okay. Stomp does nothing. Mega Punch, and it hits it in the face. And it manages to survive. Okay, that's uh, well, seismic toss. And it goes down. RK9, the legendary Pokemon that is not actually a legendary Pokemon. Mega punch it in the face. Really? It survived? And he used a super potion. Another mega punch. He used roar, but it does nothing because this is a solo run. One more mega punch. And it goes down. As it should. Well, I guess I didn't need a burn heal after all. But you did, Blaine. I hope you had a burn heal, Blaine. So let's go and fight Giovanni next. I wonder if Team Rocket is still holding together after being defeated so many times. have caught me a dude you're in a pokemon gym every trainer in the region is going to be coming here why did you think this was a good hideout and out rhyhorn you know who i haven't seen giovanni use in a while onyx you know the pokemon that he led off with back in the game corner Not very effective, but it was enough to take it out in one hit. Dugtrio. Does Dugtrio have any moves that can actually hit a flying type like Charizard? Well, we'll never know because it went out in one hit. Nido Queen. I'm still fighting it like it has Poison Point, even though it doesn't. Because I am very smart. Nido King. Okay, what happened to that Kangaskhan he had before? Whatever, he went down. Right on. Flamethrower for some reason. Yeah, I don't know. I was just kind of spamming flamethrower here. Tail Whip does nothing. Yeah, seriously, it does nothing. I don't even know why it's a move. Enemy right on fainted. Defeated Giovanni. This was a truly intense fight. You have won. Yeah, yeah, I did not take any damage, but sure, it was intense. Okay. And we get the TM for 
Fisher, which we're not going to use. But just one. Yeah, assuming it can actually hit anything. Yeah, I don't know why I thought there was an item up here. But it's time to go fight rival number six. Do, 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 do. Okay, here he is. I'm surprised to see you. Yeah, I know you're a Pokemon trainer, but I'm surprised that you managed to come up here to the Pokemon League, even though we've been neck and neck the entire journey. What is with some of these lines? Like, who came up with this? Gary sent out Pidgeot. Go, Zangetsu. Slash. Critical hit. Oh, but it survived. And then it used agility. Its speed rose. Oh, and it actually outspeeds us, but it uses whirlwind, which does nothing. Because this is a solo run. Sends out Rhyhorn. I have fought so many of these. And as usual, it dies to a single, not very effective move. And we grew to level 67. Okay. Growlithe. Seriously, he hasn't evolved that yet? Surely he has a Firestone by now. I mean, we already fought an Arcanine in G Blaine's gym. Execute. Got scrambled. Yes, I know they're not actually eggs, but come on. Alakazam. You're telling me he managed to get a trade evolution, but not a stone evolution? Really? And he has two Pokemon that evolved by stones that are readily available in Celadon City, and he hasn't done either of them. Blastoise. Blastoise do be a beefy boy. Ooh, not even half damage this time. Okay. We'll do another Mega Punch. Hydro Pump. Ooh. Yeah, that did more than feels good. That did half damage. Let's hope Seismic Toss kills it. And it does. Good. I was just careless. Yes, you, you were. You really were. Uh, if you had done another Hydro Pump instead of Withdraw, you might have won. But you are just really bad at battling. And now we will go and defeat the Elite Four. No one can best me when it comes to icy Pokemon. Your Pokemon will be at my mercy when they are frozen solid. Even though all of the moves that freeze have like a and per ch and chance to freeze and they are not reliable freezing is not a reliable status condition that is why no one uses it but you dugong slash ooh it survived so you can see we are not as over leveled as we were earlier even though we have actually fought every trainer we've come across Enemy Dugong fainted in two hits, and we grew to level 70. Okay, this is about where I thought we were when we fought Sabrina. Cloister, Cloister do be a beefy boy. Ooh, that. Ah, a water type wrap. That's not good. Ooh, three turns. Okay, let's use Submission. I actually picked up Submission in Victory Road because I thought it would be better than Seismic Toss at this point. Because it can do damage greater than the user's level. And I know at least two of the Elite Four members have Pokemon that are weak to fighting type. And we lost our first attempt. 
So let's go and try this again. Lorley sent out Dugong. We're going to hit it with Mega Punch in the face. And that's going to do about half damage. And Aurora Beam. Uh, we can live with that. As long as we take out the Cloister, we can live with that amount of damage. She healed, we used Slash, and we took out the Dugong again. Now here comes Cloister. We're going to go for Slash this time instead of Submission. And then we're going to go for Flamethrower. Okay, good. Even though it's half water type. Yeah, Flamethrower actually does neutral damage to Cloyster because it's water ice instead of pure ice. Slowbro, slow bro, I'm not worried about. It does have confusion, I think. But it also has withdraw, so the AI keeps telling it to use the water type move. So that's fine. It can use withdraw as much as it likes because setup moves do nothing. Jinx is psychic ice, which is a weird typing, but it also makes it weak to flamethrower. So we're going to do that. Lapras. Okay. Lapras is pretty beefy. You can see Mega Punch is not doing as much damage as I would like. But Slash has a pretty high critical hit ratio, so that does good damage. Ooh, Blizzard. I do not like this. I do not like the position I am in. But I won anyway. So now we can heal up and move on to Bruno. Or as I like to call him, Red and Blue No, because his Pokemon are terrible. Like the Pokemon themselves are pretty good. He doesn't actually have a terrible team, but his moveset is. And it, it, it could easily have been improved on. Like, I don't know what they were thinking when they gave his Pokemon the moves they did. We will grind you down. Your power is not superior. Like, your best move is 75% accurate. Sent out Onyx. I don't know why I went for Flamethrower, but it worked. It's Monchan. Flamethrower again. And it went down. Hit him on Lee. Flamethrower. And it went down. Onyx. Again. Why does he have two Onyxes? Like, I know they explained that in the anime, but this game came out before that. So why does he have two Onyxes? Machamp. Flamethrower. And it did not go down. But it used focus energy. Why did it use focus energy? Why? Why, why does he have focus energy? Ichigo defeated Red and Blue No. Alright, so now we move on to probably the easiest member of the Elite Four. And that is Agatha. I am Agatha of the Elite Four. Okay, that's nice. Let's get to the battle. 
Pokemon are for fighting. Yeah, you know what we did to the last po person who thought that? We destroyed their life. Agatha sends out Gengar. Go, Zangetsu. Flamethrower. And that's a no co. In 2280, blah, 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 sent out Goldbat. Flamethrower again. Sent out Haunter. Flamethrower again. Ooh, and it actually survived. Okay. And I'm asleep. That's Fine, I have a Poke Flute so I can wake up right away. Yeah, in Gen 1, waking up, the turn you wake up, you can't attack. So there's no difference between waking up naturally and using a Poke Flute. Except that the Poke Flute can be done without waiting five turns like we had to do that one time before. Arbok Flamethrower! Sent out Gengar Flamethrower! And it survived and used Toxic. That's annoying. But at least I can't go to sleep again. And it doesn't matter, I take out Gengar this turn. So that's a Thurko. If one hit KO is Oko, then two hit KO is Thurko. I, I don't think that's going to catch on. So let's heal up and go fight Lance. So I mean, it's been going good so far. I've taken out three of the Elite Four on my second attempt. Lance shouldn't be a problem, right? Right? Well, let's get on, on with it. I don't know why I opened up the menu. I do that a lot, I guess. I lead the Elite Four. You can call me Lance the Dragon Master. How, how about I call you Lance the Bird Keeper? Because there is literally no difference between you and a Bird Keeper. All your Pokemon are flying type. Well, I guess the two Dragon Air aren't, but they evolve into Dragon Knight. And he has Gyarados, Water Flying. He has Aerodactyl, Rock Flying, and if he evolves the two Dragonites, he'll have, if he evolves the two Dragon Air, he'll have three Dragonite, which are Dragon Flying. Okay, Gyarados used Hydro Pump. That's not good. That is not good. But it's manageable, right? We can still win. You look at that, we're at level 72. We don't need to worry. Just use Slash and it's high critical hit ratio. Ah, uh, Dragonair. Why did you survive, Dragonair? I need you to not survive. I need you to go down. I also need to figure out a way to speed up this emulator because it's the only one I have found that works on my system and this generation just takes so long to do anything Aerodactyl Mega Punch Aerodactyl you take down that's not good slash Flamethrower. Yes, the same type attack bonus. And it survived and hit with Hyper Beam. 
Okay. Well, that just happened. So let's go ahead and try that again, starting at Laura Lee. Laura Lee wants to fight. Laura Lee sent out Dugong. So that's Mega Punch it in the face. And it's still not going down in one hit. This is what I meant when I said earlier that being overleveled won't matter that much in the Elite Four. Because you can see we're a good 20 levels higher than most of our opponents, and we're still losing. Ah, clamp again. Doesn't Cloyster have, like, withdraw that it can use and then slash takes it out okay slow bro I'm not worried about slow bro it's just going to spam withdraw because it has good AI and good AI notes that water is strong against fire. So it's going to go for the water move instead of... Oh, it has water gun. I thought its move, the only attacking move was confusion. I don't know why. Critical hit, followed by a super potion, followed by slash. And that's slow bro down. Now Jinx, Jinx is still Ice Psychic, which is still weak to Flamethrower, so that's what we're going to do. Now when I finally do have a successful run against the Elite Four, I actually end up not using Submission. Flamethrower, for some reason, that doesn't take it out, and then it hits with Hydro Pump. See, even though we're so over-leveled for this, I still lost against Lorley. I lost against Lorley twice. Once after making it all the way to Lance. Okay, so Dugong, yeah, yeah, yeah. Slash. Uh, it survives a critical hit slash, because of course it does. But it does not survive a second one. Cloister. Now we just use slash again. Critical hit. Looks like it's going to be a two hit KO. Uh, that Aurora Beam, that does not feel good. Critical Hits Flamethrower takes it out. Slowbro. We're going to go ahead and use Slash. And it starts with Water Gun this time instead of using Withdraw, but Water Gun does nothing. And another Slash takes it out. Slash gets so many critical hits, and now we're at level 73, which Jinx was already in Oko before that, so I'm not worried. So that Ice Psychic typing, it, it, that does not help it. Sent out Lapras. Now Lapras is the one that took us out last time. And it can take us out again if it connects with Hydro Pump, which this time it doesn't. That is good. And Slash takes it out. So now let's go fight Red and Bluno again. And his superior might. Onyx. Okay, this is not a problem. 
we o-code everything but the ma champ before so now that we're at a higher level that we should be able to just o-code everything hit monchan flamethrower hit them on lee flamethrower The second onyx. Flame thrower. Critical hit that didn't really matter. Much hand. The moment of truth. Flame thrower. Ah, oh, dude, really? Okay, first of all, why would you use a ground type move against a flying type Pokemon? That wasn't going to connect anyway. See what I mean? It's like. The Pokemon aren't bad Pokemon. Machamp is not a terrible Pokemon. But Fissure is a terrible move because, it, first of all, it can't hit anything faster than it. And then he uses it against a flying type. That makes no sense. Golbat. Flamethrower. And it's done. 74. Haunter. Flamethrower. And it's done. Arbok. Flamethrower. And it is done. Gengar. Flamethrower. It is not done and it goes for Confuse Ray. That is perfect. Flamethrower. Flamethrower! And it is done. We have defeated Agatha yet again. I've heard rumors that some people call this battle the Agatha Lottery. Yeah, no. Agatha is actually incredibly easy. Lance, on the other hand, has given us difficulty. Gyarados. Will it survive a slash? It survives a critical hit slash, but then misses with Hydro Pump. That's good, because Hydro Pump does a lot of damage. Dragonair. Slash. And it goes down. Good. Another Dragonair. Another Slash. And it too goes down. That is very good. So far we have not taken any damage. Aerodactyl. This is the Pokemon that gave us a, a lot of trouble last time. And it still does not go down in one hit. Bite, okay. Bite is good. Bite does nothing. Flamethrower. Does a lot. And it goes down. Or not. Okay, and it hits with another hyper beam. That's great. That does more than feels good. Hey, was that a critical hit? I don't know. But this time it actually goes down. Dragonite. Okay, Dragonite slash. Critical hit, but it does not go down and it uses slam. Slash critical hits and it connects with hyper beam. Dude, it survived on like one health and then took us out. 
I am not going to show that whole Elite Four run again because this video is already over an hour long. But now we're at level 76 and Gyarados go survives a slash and hits with Hydro Pump. Oof, that was not good. Yeah, so that Hydro Pump was a crit, and now we are on 44 health for the rest of the team. Slash takes out the first Dragonair, as well as the second. I don't know whether or not those crits matter, but either way, a flamethrower, the Aerodactyl, and it survives, but then it misses Hyper Beam. That is very good. And then it goes down to another flamethrower. Dragon Knight. Slash. It uses barrier this time. Okay. And then it goes down to a second slash. And we go to level 77. That is very good. I hate to admit it, but you are a Pokemon master. Yes, I am. You are the Pokemon League champion. Or you would have been, but you have one more battle to face. Of course he did. When does he ever not get somewhere before us? Also, I meant to restore Flamethrower's PP because it's very useful against the Executor that he finally has. But I forgot to do that. So we're going into this with Three moves, one of which we're not going to use. Okay, yeah, he's the most powerful trainer in the world. We'll see about that. He opens it with Pidgeot, as usual. And we are going to Mega Punch it in the face, as usual. I don't know, and it survived, and it started glowing. Anime rule number something, do not mess with anything that glows. You slash it to pieces. Alakazam, we're going to mega punch it in the face. Oh, it actually survived this time. Okay. So we use slash. And it goes down. And this is another thing that I forgot to cut out where I got distracted while I was playing. Right on. Oh, we actually do use submission. Okay. Oh, I forgot I had used submission against Rhydon. I followed it up with a Mega Punch, which did not take it out. Okay, why does it still have Tail Whip? Come on, Gary, you just defeated the Elite Four and you have Tail Whip? Okay, even after using Tail Whip, that Fury Attack does nothing. RK9 slash Well, I'm glad to see that he did evolve the Growlithe. I don't know why he waited until just before the Elite Four to do that, but he did it. 
Executor. Mm. Mega Punch in one of its faces. I survived. So you can see how much higher our level is than our opponent Pokemon, and we're still not Okoing consistently. Then Blastoise do be a beefy boy. Okay, let's use Slash before it uses Withdraw, which it does. Good, but it's already at half health. Mega Punch in the face. And it survives and uses Blizzard. Uh, well, at least Blizzard is only doing neutral damage. Wait, does fire resist ice? Eh, anyway, we win. Ichigo defeated Gary. You beat me at my best. Hey, you know, maybe if you had tried to use, uh, I don't know, Hydro Pump instead of Withdraw. You know, like try to damage the fire type with an incredibly powerful water type move instead of sitting there and doing nothing but anyway guys that's the playthrough we just defeated pokemon red with its fire starter so charizard has just asserted its dominance over all of kanto and if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, hit subscribe, click the little bell icon. I will be doing more of these. I'm thinking my next run, I'll try to solo Pokemon Ruby using its grass starter. But if you guys have any ideas on other... Pokemon challenges I can do, or if you know how to speed up this emulator that I'm using, it's called Open Emu. Let me know in the comments section down below. Until then, guys, this is Ichigo90, and I am blasting off again. <laughs>